What is going on everybody? For those who don't know, I go by BUSG and this is another Eagles video. If you guys are new to the channel and if you love talking Philly sports every single day, go ahead down below and hit that subscribe button and hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you guys are instantly notified when I release a new video. Now, as you saw yesterday, in Eagles training camp, current starting left tackle that was going to start this season, Andre Dillard, is now injured this season with a, I believe it was like a torn bicep, I'm pretty sure. A torn bicep injury, I think it was. Anyway, he is officially out for the entire NFL season in 2020, and it's not looking good, so good for the Eagles offensive line as of now, but the positive thing about this is that Jason Peters can move back over to left tackle to play for the starting offensive line, and if you, if you guys haven't noticed, we're in a new spot, it's my living room, technically, so, and I got the training camp live on in here, and anyway, back to the topic, anyway, Andre Dillard is officially out for the 2020 season with torn with a torn bicep, and and Jason Peters is going to take his place at left tackle. And now your current starting lineup with this switch here is left tackle as Jason Peters, left guard as Isaac Sayamalo, center Jason Kelsey, right guard Matt Pryor, and then. Right tackle, Lane Johnson. So that, in my opinion, is actually not a bad offensive line. But it's not going to be the same with Andre Dillard. But Jason Peters is back to his usual spot that he's normally interested in. So he's back to his normal spot. But Andre Dillard being out, he had a chance to make a statement in, the tw in 2020 for his first season playing as a starter. But he had a torn bicep. I believe it was, like, Joe Osman who took him down. Because when Andre Dillard was apparently tackling him, and Joe Osman were going head-to-head, -head, apparently Joe Osman was the one taking him down. But our defense is going to be heavy this season. Our defense is going to be big-time heavy for any offensive line to handle. Well, barely any offensive lines. <coughs> the Ravens. Anyway, um, so to the to Andre Dillard injury... The offensive line still looks okay. I mean, Jason Peters at left tackle. Um, Isaac Sayomalo at left guard. Jason Kelsey center. Matt Pryor right guard. Lane Johnson left right tackle. And, and we all know that Jason Peters is very injury prone. He's very injury prone. He gets injured every year. So that's why... If Jason Peters goes down, then Prince Tega, I don't care how you pronounce his last name, is probably going to replace him. And to help out Matt Pryor, I think he's going to have both Nate Herbig and Jack Driscoll there to help him out. So, hopefully this will still be good. But if we want to go ahead and try to find someone to take either Matt Pryor's place or Jason Peters' place, since Jason Peters is so injury prone, we can. There's a few guys out there. I don't. I can't name them. Basically, I'm not the one who can basically name all of these guys. But all I know is that the offensive line is looking okay as long as we don't put Jordan Maliata in the starting lineup because he has been struggling in training camp. He has seriously been struggling in training camp. So if we throw in Jordan Maliata, then it's not going to look good. We got Prince Tega, we got Nate Herbig, we got Jack Driscoll. I mean, why would you throw in Jordan Maliata when you have those three guys? I mean, Nate Herbig is around 334 pounds. Um, and Prince Tega and Jack Driscoll are both rookies, but they're both really good rookies and have been having insane training camps. And guys, don't forget tomorrow, the Flyers take on the Islanders, and I believe... Game three or four. In game three or four, they take them on. Hopefully, no postponement. I hope. I believe tomorrow 
is when the Flyers take on the Islanders. But all I know is that Jason Peters needs to be healthy. He needs to be healthy, and if he's not, we have a young Prince Tega to back him up. And to help him at prior, we got Jack Driscoll and Nate Herbig to back him up. So I think we're gonna have an. I think we're gonna be okay. But if we want to go out and try to sign like an offensive lineman, I think we could do that. But due to the cap space next year, I think we should just stick with our backups at this point. But it's just a shame to <clears throat> hear that Andre Dillard is down with a torn bicep injury. It is possible for Brian Brooks to come back, but right as of now, it's going to be Matt Pryor starting at right guard, Jason Peters at left tackle again. Once again, the offensive line right now, as it's looking like, it's going to be Jason Peters at left tackle. Left guard is going to be Isaac Sayomala. Center is Jason Kelsey. Matt Pryor is going to play right guard. And Lane Johnson is going to play right tackle. So, it looks like an okay offensive line. Just hope that this will... Hopefully just everyone can stay healthy. I am done with injuries on this roster. I am absolutely done. I am done with injuries. And the starting <clears throat> quarterback is obviously Carson Wentz. <clears throat> Miles Sanders is the starting running back. Starting three wide receivers. Due to Alshon Jeffrey being out, it's going to be Jalen Rager, Deshaun Jackson, and Greg Ward. And obviously your starting tight end is Zach Ertz. And then you got the offensive line. The defensive line's looking pretty good. I cannot argue with the defense. We made a lot of key pieces to the defenses, defense last season. So, <clears throat> just hope that we'll play well. And pray to God that no more injuries better happen. Maybe Brandon Brooks can come back and take Matt Pryor's spot. But, as of now, it's not looking like it. But... And Andre Dillard had a chance to make a statement to see what kind of damage he could do in 2020. But now he's got to wait till 2021 to make an impact this season. I mean, next season. Sorry. Well, anyway, guys, that's all I had to say. And I hope you enjoy. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. Also, don't forget to the like button and the notification bell to see more videos like this. And... The shout-out event that I'm doing, if you guys have not yet seen my video, please go check it out. It has the instructions on how to enter. You have to subscribe. You have to comment, I am subscribed to your channel. That way, I believe you guys are subscribed to the channel. And then, bang, you're entered right into the giveaway. Well, event. Because it's not really anything I'm giving away to you guys, but... It's just a little sum that I like to thank on you guys for 40 subscribers. And we're at like 42 subs right now. Hopefully we can get some more in the future. Just hope that it happens. Anyway guys, see you next time. Peace. Out.